good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Grace Melton, and I'm the Senior Associate for International Social Issues at the Heritage Foundation in Washington, D.C. I'll be chairing this panel on protecting human rights and human dignity. We, are here, we here all believe that every individual is entitled to respect and human rights by virtue of his or her dignity as a human being. This is fundamental to the natural law that is written on our hearts by our Creator. And the legitimacy of human rights corresponds to these universal truths about freedom and justice. Sadly, even universal truths lack agreement in our world today. The Universal Declaration of Human Rights has been the foundation of the International Human Rights Project since 1948. Well, that document was the result of lengthy negotiations and careful consensus building, its efficacy in pretend, protecting fundamental rights is challenged by growing efforts to expand rights. The progressive left, lawyers, academics, non-governmental organizations, activists, and bureaucrats have co-opted the language of human rights to assert a growing list of new rights that undermine our inalienable rights and fundamental freedoms. These fundamental human rights, such as life, freedom of religion or belief, and conscience, are enshrined in the UN's founding documents and codified in international law. Today, we see human rights and human dignity under attack in our own countries and in international fora. Threats to human dignity come from many directions, including abortion, gender ideology, the redefinition of marriage and the family, pornography, as well as advances in technology. Our distinguished panelists today will discuss many of these threats. Those who try to manufacture new rights or promote progressive social policies using the language of rights are willing to sacrifice fundamental rights to achieve their goals. For example, in the name of gender equality, we see the promotion of abortion, which violates the right to life of the unborn and the dignity of women. In same-sex marriage, we see the freedom of man to manifest our religious beliefs tarnished with labels of big bigotry and hate. Under the banner of gender ideology, children's health and parental rights are cast aside. Before we can talk about protecting human rights and human dignity, we ought to be able to define those terms. So let's begin with our panelists. Dr. Christian Alting von Jesse will be our first speaker, and he will discuss the question of what is the nature and meaning of human dignity. Dr. Alting von Jesse is the president and rector at International Theological Institute in Trumau, Austria. He holds a PhD in philosophy of law from the University of Vienna and an LLM in European and civil law from the University of Heidelberg. Next, we will hear from Mr. Naska Lornik, member of parliament in the National Assembly of Hungary. He is also a member of the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe. He holds a BS in international studies from Pasmani Peter Catholic University. His remarks will be on family policy, and he will discuss legislation in Hungary to protect children from LGBT advocacy in schools. Third, we will hear from my colleague at the Heritage Foundation, Dr. Jay Richards. Dr. Richards is the director of the DeVos Center for Life, Religion, and Family. He earned his PhD in philosophy and theology from Princeton Theological Seminary. His presentation will be on gender ideology as one of the greatest assaults on the family and, the human, and human dignity. Next, we'll hear from Don Hawkins, Chief Executive Officer of the International Center on Sex Sexual Exploitation in the United States. Ms. Hawkins holds a BS in International Relations from Tufts University. Her remarks will address online sexual harassment, exploitation, and trafficking, particularly concerning children. She will share with us some examples of litigation and legislative proposals to address these issues. Finally, our panel will conclude with Miklos Lucas. Mr. Lucas is International Associate Professor of Science and Technology at Pan American Business School in Peru. He earned his MSc in Development Studies from Victoria University of Wellington. His presentation will address the threats posed by convergent technologies such as gene editing and artificial intelligence to human nature. Thank you for welcoming our speakers, and I would ask all of you to keep to your allotted time. <laughs> 